Rest in peace, Botham Shem Jean. Just want to start off by saying that before I go in. What happened to the brother was unexcusable and it don't make no damn sense. Most people might have been born in the daytime, but God damn it, they weren't born yesterday. And some of the facts, some of the clues, some of the BS that they're feeding us, two and two doesn't equal four in this situation. They're trying to tell us two and two equals 17. And we know damn well that ain't right. We gone in. For those who don't know, recently, some punk ass cop lady called herself going to Brother Botham's place, going into his apartment and shooting him. Her weak ass excuse is that she mistaked the apartment for hers and shot him. Right? Don't make no damn sense. Really don't make no damn sense. Here's why I say that. For starters, right? It's reports speculating that prior to the shooting, they heard her banging on the door, wanting to come into the place. All right, that's, that's number one. So that goes that, that, show, that goes to show you she was angry about something. You know, if true, she came there wanting to raise hell about something. Another piece of speculation, they're saying that they used to, they possibly used to mess around or date, right? So this could have been a lover's, lover's quarrel. Maybe he cut her off. Maybe he was with a side chick. Who knows, right? And she finds out about it, goes over there, does what she does. Or another theory that got put out into the world is about all this is that she's a suspected white supremacist and he got the upper hand on her about something and she went over there and did what she did. Bottom line, the, a man's dead. And the weak excuse, oh, I thought this was my apartment. Oops. No. No. That don't make no damn sense. Now, speculation aside, this is my theory. This, this is this is me. This is what I think, right? I think they got into it about something. She was angry. She went over there to check him on it. Her overly emotional, if not sub-retarded ass, decided to pull out her gun and shoot him. For some, for whatever reason. It's gonna take a lot for me to believe that she made a mistake. Because first of all, with apartment buildings, everybody in an, in, in an apartment building, di different apartments, different co condos, every tenant, every apartment, every condo has a different lock from everybody else's. Different lock, different key from everybody else's. It's kind of hard for me to believe that the same key they use, that, that she can use to open her apartment is the same they can use as hit for his. No. She either A, already had a key, or B, he let her in after she banged on the door. As they, as people said, what went down, or speculated that went, what went down, right? That's, that's number one. Number two, if you're getting into, if you're going to step into some place that's unfamiliar on accident, you're going to know by the smell, the sounds, and look right maybe the sound third if it's a quiet place or whatever but you're gonna know about the smell and about the look right okay example on smell hypothetical uh, situation right in terms of smell right when I was finishing college I used to hit up the school gym whenever I could right uh, by the but in restrooms, men's real well, not really restroom, but it's it was the restroom slash changing room, dressing room or whatever, right? There's the water fountains by the by the men's and women's restroom, with uh, with the water fountain fountain being closest to the women's restroom, right? Slash changing room. 
I'm listening to music on my iPod. I'm not paying no attention. I'm trying to decide whether if I should go to the second hip hop mix that I got to finish up my workout or should I go to the reggae mix to finish up my workout, right? So I'm selecting, I'm selecting. I drink my water, I'm selecting. I was like, wait, let me use the restroom. I felt the need to to use the bathroom or whatever. Boom. I'm making the selection. I'm not paying no attention. I'm looking down the whole time. Right when I got to drink, drink the water, I step over to the first door. I felt the knob and I went to open it, right? As soon as I opened the door, boom. All I smelled was body sprays and perfumes. I get a hint of female pheromones, right? I could smell all that. As soon as I opened the door, boom. I didn't even have to look up. I didn't even have to look up. I just knew, oh shit, wrong room. I took a step back, looked, then I looked up, saw, damn, I almost went into the woman's room. Just by the smell alone, without even looking, I knew I was going in the wrong direction. Everybody's apartment, everybody's home, everybody's condo has a different smell for whatever reason. You might have keep your place extremely clean like a museum and your place probably smells like Lysol and potpourri at all times you know what I'm saying or smell like Febreze or whatever you know you just keep your place well groomed or you might cook a lot or whatever and your home might kind of smell like the last meal that you that you cooked you ain't really have time to clean up all the way yet because you had to hurry up get to work and when you got back then you will bust up the dishes but bottom line you know you know, everybody's apartment smells different so just by the smell alone i mean yeah people can be zombified by whatever text messages that they're looking on their phone or whatever you're not paying no attention but trust me the sense of smell knowing how your place smells it feels like home smells like home when you open the door feels smells like home that feeling as soon as you open the door the smells of what's familiar of your home your place where you stand at boom that's gonna hit you first Number two, after looking up, right, keep in mind, most condos and apartment buildings that are in a decent neighborhood, especially from the looks of some of the videos that I saw, uh, they said that the keys that they use, it's not even a regular old school key. They use digital locks now, a lot of places where if you put in the key, you, you punch in the code or you put in the key, there's a green light or a red light that glows, right? If it's your apartment and that's the right key, a green light will light up and then boom, it'll open. The door will open, right? If it's not the right key, a red light will will shine and the door will not open. Now, unless that digital lock was malfunctioning, you know, that should have been a sign that, oh, okay, I'm in the wrong place. Now, even if... The doors still open somehow, right? Most apartments, most condos in decent areas, they have uh, hallways that have lights, right? The hallways are usually well lit. It's not no dim hallway or anything like that unless the light bulb suddenly went out. But for the most part, most hallways in well-to-do places or decent enough areas, the hallways are well lit. Just by you opening the door and the and before you even cut on the light switch to see what's going on, the light from the hallway is gonna shine just enough light to see. Oh snap! That table looks different. Like wait, hold up. The pictures on the wall don't even look right. Am I in the right? You're gonna take a step back and wait, 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 hold up. Just by the light, and even if you ain't paying no attention, you still on your phone, this, that, and the third. As soon as you cut on the light switch, you're going to look up and be like, oh, shit, I'm in the wrong place. You're going to turn your ass around and walk away. Now, granted, what if she steps in, right? She, quote, unquote, in the wrong wrong place, right? Hell, even if you go to your place, right, you're not paying attention. You, you open the door, and you hear something moving, like somebody breaking into your house or whatever. You're going to pull your gun out and be like, hey, freeze, what are you doing, right? You're going to try to figure out what's going on before you get to busting. You know what I'm saying? 
You're going to look around and be like, hey, hey, what's going on in here? Right? You're going to give, and being that she's an officer, she's supposed to know better. Be like, hey, freeze, don't move. Give a, give a freeze halt before I shoot. Right? You're going to give that at least. You know what I'm saying? But bottom line, it don't even make no damn sense. Because all of that, she would have, she would have said all that, you know? It, it really don't make no damn sense. Like, oh, I thought somebody was robbing my place, but I made a mistake thinking it's my place. Shit on it. No, you either got to be super retarded or you ain't paying no attention to your surroundings. And this I doubt because you're a police officer. When you're out on patrol, you have to keep your eyes and ears open at all times. You have to be vigilant at all times. You got to be aware of your surroundings. Because, you you know, something could be going down that looks suspicious and you got to keep your ears up, you know? So, yeah, even though she's coming off shift, unless she was drinking or getting high or whatever, you're supposed to still be on guard. You're still in cop mode until you take off all your clothes and stuff like that and de-stress, decompress at the end of the day. She's still in cop mode. So I don't want to hear that, oh, I made a mistake bullshit. I don't want to hear that. That two and two don't, no, that shit don't even out. See, this, this is why I would never date a cop, a, 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 a female cop. I would never do that. I don't, I don't trust them. At one point, I used to be like, well, cops are, they can be evil, but they're necessary evil. Yeah, they're necessarily dumb evil. That's what it's looking like. I'm going to wrap this up by leaving y'all with a story real quick. That show you, that, that should tell you how police, in my mind, they're, they're sub-mentally challenged. Not all the way mentally challenged, they're sub-mentally challenged. Because, hell, even with mentally challenged people, they might be... They might be a little mean at times or whatever, moody and emotional, but they're not evil. They're not going to go out and be on some psycho killer cop shit like this. Hell, most mentally challenged people, they're just, they're like big kids, you know what I'm saying? Just big, sweet individuals. They just can't function normally, you know? But for the most part, they're not going to go out murdering people left and right. You know what I mean? brother that I knew, right? I'm go, jumping into the story now. This is a brother that I knew. He graduated with us. I graduated 17, 18 years old, right? That's the usually the normal age you graduate. I graduated on time. The guy who I know, right, he graduated with us at age 20 going on 21. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. He was not necessarily mentally handicapped per se, but the brother one too bright right fast forward um i got invited uh this person that i used to know who i was cool with uh i went to their graduation ceremony for the police academy down here right the same brother who was a little slow that graduated with me this dude graduated the police academy passed the state exam and everything He's a cop. I'm sitting here like, wow, they let any or anybody become police now. Look, anybody could be a cop, man. Anybody. If that dude, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what municipality he's at or whatever, but just know that you really don't have to be that bright to be a cop, fam. Straight up and down. This is who they're letting become police officers. People who are scared, who are emotional and reactionary. That's who they're be letting become cops. They train them for like six to eight months, and then six to eight months, and then boom, they put them on the street, right? These people, most of them, they're scared out of their minds, right? They're thinking that 
oh damn i'm going into a quote-unquote bad area or i'm dealing with black folks i'm dealing with latinos i heard nothing but craziness about them they're always on the news you hear the rap music that they that they put together kill this and shoot that and ah man they might they might bust me they might put two inside my nugget hell they might take it old school and be like Oh, they're going to put a cap in my ass if I don't do something first. It's either them or me. You know what I mean? They're going out with this mentality. Scared as shit. So now they're emotional, reactionary, scared as shit. You're dealing with a walking powder keg now. Not just one or two. It's, it's, It's more than just a dozen of them that feel like this. They're overly emotional, reactionary. Stupid as shit. Out patrolling people. Some of them have racist views, preconceived notions. They come from predominantly non black areas, white, all Asian areas, whatever, right? And all they heard about black folks is they kill, they shoot, they do this, they that, da 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 da. So they have a preconceived notion already. That's if they're not a suspected white supremacist or just bigoted and believe in the bullshit rhetoric towards us black folks or Latinos or whatever, right? Okay, cool. Boom. They go out to the neighborhood. They do something stupid. They harass black folks. They harass Latinos. They, they bust us upside the head. Just doing dumb shit, you know? They were probably bitches in high school, so now they're taking that out on everybody who they think is lesser than them. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, you have these type of people doing this sort of job. Reactionary. Emotional. Reckless. In other countries, they take at least three to four years of training. Two to three to four years, depending upon which country. Pretty much a bachelor's degree in, or an associate's degree in being a police officer before they put them out on the street. They want to make sure that in between the tool between their two shoulders is working. They want to make sure that a person is more cerebral, strategic, understanding before putting them out there and slipping up and doing something stupid. I'm not too sure of police, they need the manpower that bad, but man, come on. You can't let people that are reactionary, that are emotional, that are sub-mentally challenged. They're barely of average intelligence out on the street, causing mayhem, sadness. Once again, this is why I would never date a cop, period. Female officers, period. I don't, mm-mm, no. Police detective, no. Hell, if she's on the SWAT team or trying to be a sn- sniper, oh, hell no. <laughs> I am not dealing with you. Because at any given moment, that, that woman might snap and make your death look like a goddamn accident. Just like the bullshit they're trying to pull now. Talking about, oh, we're going to charge her for manslaughter. Bullshit. This shit, at worst, is second-degree murder. Straight up. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all share this. And let me know what you think. Hit me in the in the email. DKE305. D is in dog. K is in kitchen. E is in electric. 305. At gmail.com. And if you have any questions. Or want to respond in any way. Just hit me up, alright? If you have any questions... I'll be sure to give a logical answer and give a decent response here on this podcast. Um, y'all catch up with me on Instagram at Damn Your Logic, on IG Damn Your Logic. Uh, you can also catch me on Twitter at King Nick Anthony on Twitter uh, at me there. And check out my website for my works, uh, com. You can go ahead and check that out, uh, get my books, and um, look at my services. I grant write, uh, write stories, 
essays, case studies, anything. I can help you with your essays and anything. Anything with writing. I'm a master at it. In my opinion, I'm top five dead or alive. So just holler at me. But in the end, this don't, with the cop that shot Brother Botham, we don't believe you. You need more people, okay? This is why people be like, man, fuck the police. Straight up and down. Rest in peace, Botham. And, um, yeah. Just some sad shit. You know, most of the pro-black brothers, they're gonna look at this and be like, he should have known better. <laughs> Cause it looks like with a lot of the pictures that he took that I've seen, he looks like he's the token Negro in the group. So a lot of pro-black brothers and sisters, they're gonna be like, well, he should have known better. Look at him. He the only brother in there. Look at this coon. He probably was a coon. I'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna call this man, even though he died, you know? Even if that is the case, he ain't deserve all this now. Rest in peace, Botham. This don't make no sense. I hope they throw the book at the cop that did this. Pace. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.